Hey, what's up, guys? Stroker here. Um, I just purchased um, some lighting and backdrops. Um, for those who do photography, um, you know what I'm talking about. Also, you can find this on eBay, Amazon, and of course, you know, if you want to save a couple bucks like I do, um, Facebook Marketplace, you can go on OfferUp, all those other you know, Craigslist, you know, places like that. So, this is going to be a voiceover. I'm going to have to do a quick assembly, first time, um, you know, messing with something like this. So, you know, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up and leave a uh, comment down below. All right, guys, so here's the bag. That's a pretty heavy bag. So right now I'm just pretty much going and getting everything organized. Uh, if you don't know, the white boxes are... Uh, it holds the light bulbs. So it's 12 light bulbs in total. And I'm just taking everything out the bag, as you can see. So, of course, I had to time lapse it because I didn't want you guys sitting here for an hour to watch me assemble this lighting kit. So you have three stands for the light boxes, and you have two stands for the backdrops. Those clamps you see, those things are very heavy duty. Matter of fact, I wouldn't mind using those for something else. All right, so you see the first um, light box I'm getting ready to put together. So I believe I showed some rides at the very beginning. You have four rides for each light box. Uh, those rods are pretty flexible. They're not extremely flexible, so very be very careful um, when bending them because you will have to slightly bend those rods to get them to uh, to uh, support the uh, the light box. Um, at first, I didn't know um, I would be needing them for the light box, so I'm just going through the assembly, installing the light bulbs, and you'll see very shortly that I figured out that hey, those rods are used for the structure of the light box. So the instructions only one sheet. Um, nothing complicated about it. Just really relax, take your time, and you know it, it gives you the instruction. You're good. You're not totally lost. So as you can see, the um, the rods I'm using um, they go behind the light bulb housing, and it's four on each side. Oh, and um, just a FYI, um, you can adjust your light box vertically or horizontally. Um, I didn't really see that until later uh, in the assembly, but it's fine. Um, you can adjust them all vertically or all horizontally. It's not a um, set position for um, for each light uh, light box. You can again put them all vertically, horizontally, or you can do what I did. I just mixed them mixed them up. So as you can see, the light bulbs. Um, well, I had to take out the rods first because certainly you got to put it in or a certain order. You have to assemble the light box. So. Um, the light box, each lights, each, each light box, um, it has a, they have corner pockets. So the, uh, the actual ride itself, they have a, uh, shorter, uh, aluminum tip and a longer aluminum tip. Now the shorter aluminum tip, you'll be using that to place inside the pockets of the, uh, the light box. As you can see, as I'm putting them together, it, you know, it, um, it forms, um, there, I mean, if it there is right there, so it, it starts to come together. So, uh, and then the uh, back to what I was saying, the the, uh, the longer aluminum tip on the rod goes into the back of the light bulb housing. So just keep that in mind. And based off how you, uh, which um, holes you place the uh, the the rods behind the uh, the uh, the light box. I mean the uh, the light bulb housing at the end of your assemble. Uh, of you assembling, uh, assembling the light, putting the light together, um, it'll either be um, horizontally, as you see the first one that's complete, or it'll be vertically, you'll see that later on uh, in the video. But anyway, uh, as far as the brightness, it comes two switches on the back, and also a 
dial to switch out your fuses. I did. Um, I do have a, a a spare fuse that came with the kit. Hopefully, I won't have to ever ever have to use it. But you know, um, this FYI, when you see that that little yeah, um, dial in the bag, it's like to adjust the uh, the um, the intensity of the light. It's not for that. It's actually to switch out um, the fuse if you have a blown fuse. So when you put everything together, um, the back of the uh, the light box, the actual, the back of it, I don't know what you call it, but the aluminum or whatever you call it, the ones, you know, you you professional uh, um, um, videographers, whatever, you, if you just tell me the correct um, term um, for the uh, for the parts of these lights, I'm not, obviously I'm not a pro at this, but um, they have a Velcro strap at the back of it. So you can just fasten it on um, the back of the uh, the light housing, and pretty much when you put it together, it, it, in the way it is, uh, it's just attached to itself automatically. And then, of course, the the film I guess you call it the film, the front of the uh, the light box um, it has Velcro straps on uh, all four sides, and you know you just attach to the actual um, bag itself. And I'm pretty sure if you want more lighting, um, you just take remove the front of the um, of the light box, so I me, mean, I didn't bother with it. And as you see right now, I'm showing you three, um, two switches in the, uh, the 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 tab in the well, the uh, the little dial in the back to replace the fuse. And I'm showing you that the back of the uh, light box has vertical straps. Um, this is the last one. I'm putting in the rods, as you can see. Remember, guys, the uh, the shorter end of the, and I'm showing you right now. See. Um, the shorter end of the aluminum um, tip goes into the actual pockets, and I'm showing you again. And uh, the longer end of the uh, aluminum tip goes into the back of the uh, light bulb housing. So, I mean, after I figured out the first one, of course, the rest of them, uh, the other two was a simple um, process. I mean, because you already figured it out by the first one. Uh, when you sweet when you um, when you're installing these light bulbs, um, I was told. That you don't use your hands. Your hands has oil in it. The oil will cause the light bulbs to short circuit. So, um, if anything, make sure you wash your hands and dry them. Um, and just use the base to screw them. And you have plenty of room to where you you don't have to touch um, the light bulb itself. And make sure you just avoid that at all costs. And again, make sure you wash your hands before you um, start to simple uh, screwing the light bulbs. And don't don't go Macho Man Randy Savage on the light bulbs um and be very careful with these um this setup is very cheap it's somewhat flimsy but it, it gets the job done and uh you don't need to be over tightening or anything like that so um aluminum poles uh, rods and stuff so just be very mindful of you uh, uh, putting these uh this kit together you don't need to be stripping anything or breaking anything so just take your time everything come undone everything will tighten make sure you give it a firm adjustment and you know just this better safe than sorry as you see right now these rods um these this is part of the actual backdrop um that, that holds the actual uh, the screens itself as you can see right now the lighting is kind of thrown off sorry about that guys i, I thought i was putting the i had the, the the rights in the right um position so you can just see me assemble the the backdrop but i mean um you know, moving forward, the lights are set up, and the, later on in the video, you'll see um, I got the lighting. I corrected the lighting. So, as I showed you right there, that's um, pretty much how you attach the uh, the back bracket, the top bracket to the actual stands. It comes with two stands and four rods for the backdrop. And the backdrop is giving you a, a quick little tip. You don't have to use all four rods. You can use either two rods or four rods. Of course. Give you the full assembly. I use all four rods, so it's um it's a large large um large stand, so plenty of room. Now the downside to that is I adjusted the uh the backdrop um to the fullest height. So with that being said, the actual green screen wasn't long enough, um so, and that's fine. I mean the length wise, but the the uh, the depth it wasn't long enough so that's fine um most of the videos i'm doing anyway i'm normally sitting down so i can just easily adjust the uh the backdrop that way the green screen will be um in contact with the ground and hey there i go you can see me now apparently i had to adjust the camera at the point down so 
Um, yeah, I'm learning as I go. But as you can see, the green screen is it's it's brand new. She didn't even use she didn't get past the first light box. She only used one light box, and that's fine. So if you have a steamer pro tip, uh, if you have a steamer, you can knock out those wrinkles real quick. I don't, no big deal. I'll just leave it. Um, I'll just leave it like that uh, for a day or two, and uh, the, the wrinkles will just, you know, it'll it'll, it'll go away. Um, and as you can see right now, um, this is a a boom arm. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, a boom arm. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but pretty much is attached to light the the, the third light box um, from the actual stand. I attached the boom arm, and then I connected the uh, the light box to the boom arm. Those things in the back, those are bags. You can use sand. I prefer you to use sand, or in this case, I have some sodas in the refrigerator. Um, just went and took four of those, and and uh, you know went ahead and placed them in the in the, in the bag. So it holds two cans, no problem. And of course, um, this this boom arm is excellent. You know, you can also attach a mic to it if you want to. You have to use a uh, a, a light box, but uh, just just letting you know. So uh, of course. The further you go out, the more weight you need on the rear to counterbalance the counter balance the light box. So um, I figured it out. Went ahead and got two more cans of. I'm gonna show you right now. And I'm from Texas, so guess what it is? Ha ha! Good old Dr Pepper. Yes, sir. So um, easily fit four cans of Dr Pepper. Please don't uh, strike me on this, Dr Pepper. Uh, <laughs> small little shout out. And then it went from there. So yeah, there you go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And I'm back. All right, guys, this brand is called Andor. Um, no luck is finding the exact setup, but I did find one on Amazon for one fifteen. It's not the exact same setup. It doesn't come with the backdrop, as you see um, behind me, but it does come with three sets of lights, and it doesn't come with the uh the four light bulbs as i'm looking at right now it has three piece led lamp that's what it is lamps three yeah three piece led lamps so it doesn't come with the light bulbs it comes with the um, the led lamp so based off the reviews it's almost a five star um so it's, it's pretty good. It's, it's, it's good. It's good. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming, I'm guessing that mine maybe be a, it must be an older model. I don't really know um, to even say if it's an older model or not, but they come, they have so many different brands, so many different kits, so many different light bulbs, variations. Um, and like I said, I don't know if the three sets was, uh, well, actually it's needed uh, for the backdrop. You want to get plenty of lighting for the backdrop. Um, I have the, um, the light hanging above my head, and I have, you know, as you can see, the other two. That's get the other one. So we have the two right there. Boom. So um, yeah, um, the bay drop, as you can see, uh, has plenty of room at the bottom, but that's fine. I mean, I'm, I'll be sitting down most of my videos. I can easily just adjust it that way. The bottom, um, the green screen is all the way at the bottom. Um, the good part about this, the green screens, they come in different sizes, um, backdrops in general. So, uh, very, very cheap online. So, you're not spending, uh, matter of fact, I've seen one that was 15 bucks, uh, a wooden uh, backdrop design. Uh, it's neat. I like it. Definitely need more light. Um, makes it e easier for me to edit uh, my thumbnails. Uh, other than that, it's great. Um, again, I'm pretty sure you can find uh, the exact same setup, but you have to do some more digging. Probably have to go on eBay. Um, but as far as Amazon, I'm not finding it. Not saying it's not on here, but I did find a s somewhat similar set for 115. But this is what I'll do. I'll leave a link in the description down below of several different setups. So I mean, if you're interested in getting some lights, um, you know, I have I have some options down for you below at a good price. And of course, stuff like this, you know, it ranges from you know 100 bucks all the way up. To, I've seen some for six seven hundred bucks for a light so i mean it really comes uh, it's up to you guys you know what's your budget and how much you want to spend so um anyway guys i hope you enjoyed the video um didn't take very long the instructions is pretty uh simple um yeah so if you like the video guys please leave a thumbs up 
Uh, leave a comment if you do have a your own lighting setup uh, or uh, your green screen. If so let me know. Uh, let me know some stuff about it. What you what you use it for and um, what's your favorite backdrop. So um, anyway, guys. Until next time, Stroker. I'm out.